Well, hello, hello, hello. How's everybody today? Oh my God. Oh, look at that. It's my brand new Yankee cap. I'm a handsome guy. Look at this handsome dude. I'm not a bad looking guy. Anyway, how's everybody doing? So uh, I'm Freddie Ramos with Ramos Customs. Anybody who's been following my work lately knows that I've been uh, making these uh, horizontal belt sheaths for the SE line. I started making them for the SE Azula slash Azula 2 because the sheath, the same sheath fits both knives because they're both the same length. The only difference is the length of the, the handle. So, um, so yeah, so I've just been messing around with it. I did a couple of videos before. I'll just do a quick recap. They're held together with some Chicago screws. And then I screw on some uh, machine, Phillips head machine screws through them. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's what holds it in place. So I've been messing around with the design a bit. And I came out with something uh, a little bit new. Um, and I put it on this one right here. I, I think I'm going to start making all of them this way. Um, people have been asking me, well, you know, how do you wear it? Well, the way I've been making it is that this is a right-handed drawer. Okay? Or this way is a right-handed drawer. What does that mean? Well, you could wear it, let's say, on the your left your left side front you know like just imagine like right here or your right side front and you, you you unsnap it and you pull it out that way well some people want to wear it scout style but if you wear it scout style it's not going to go this way because if you figure you know go around your waist it's going to end up this way and it's going to be a left-handed so i wanted to find a way to make this uh, ambidextrous so I wouldn't have to make two separate designs one for right-handed and one for left-handed so what I came up with was I put two snaps why because now you could turn it this way and if you see the the retention strap one has the flat side or the male part flat side and the other one has the male part cap. So now you just change the orientation where now it becomes a left-handed draw or a right-handed scout, okay? Now, I'm not gonna show you here because I, I didn't bring any screws and I figured it's gonna take too long, but all you have to do is unscrew these, turn it around, put it on this side, And the front will be over here. And guess what? Now you have a right-handed scout style. So the one sheath will become both a right-handed and left-handed sheath, depending on how you wear it, depending on how you want to, to place it, uh, for lack of a better term. And uh, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to, to show you guys that I was, I was excited to, to present this. And if you look at the front, I just, I did a little um, laser engraving. I did a kabuki mask. It didn't come out very dark, but that's all right, because this is mine anyway. And on the back, I just put my logo, Ramos Customs. And oh yeah, and, and on, some of, on some of my pictures and some of my videos, you're gonna see one row of stitching. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue doing two rows because it just, it just looks a little better, adds more security. Not that one row isn't enough; it's more than enough. Um, but it's just more aesthetically pleasing. So, yeah. Again, I just wanted to uh, get your thoughts and tell me what you think. All right, here is it again. And that's it. Thank you very much. Good luck, folks. Or goodbye, folks.